Recently, somebody sent me this link of a pretty cool personal website where you hover over the link and you get this kind of image or video that's kind of overlaying the, the rest of the, the website in a kind of a cool overlay. And asked me, can you do this in Webflow? And I was like, dude, this is so easy. I'm actually gonna show you how I rebuild this whole thing in just a few minutes. Let's rock and roll. Hey everybody, so let's just rebuild this. I think it's gonna be pretty simple. I've got a, a new Webflow project here. It's basically, I'm gonna do this from scratch. Let's do kind of a black uh, black background. First of all, credits, Diego Funken. Pretty, pretty awesome works and website, man. We're just gonna try to recreate this really quickly. So let's just put in this text here, not even wrap it with anything just because it's just a demo. So I'm just gonna put it in here um, as H1. I'm gonna style that with a white background and just starting to type a lot of stuff here. Ron Segal is a Tel Aviv based designer uh, building for the web and creating YouTube videos. Oh, and also teaching other designers how to make a living with design. All right, let's choose kind of a funky font for this um, and make this really, really bigger. Already looks pretty cool, not. Um, but what font can we do that we'll have maybe, uh, do we want to do this? Yeah, he has a cool font, but we're not going to load. Oh, that's actually not very far from it. Let's say this is what we want to do. All right. So by the way, Diego's website is not super responsive. The text, it actually doesn't break. It just scales down. And so are these links. Um, so I'm just going to do inline links just for the sake of simplicity. Um, but you know what, maybe we'll do these, maybe we'll do this overlay links just like they have here. So actually what I will do is put in a link. Let's put them at the end and let's call them hover links so that we can create this layered effect. We're going to make them white as well. And these layered links, what is this font? Incondens something something. Uh, let's make them a little bit bigger. So let's call this about me. All right, so these links, I wanna have them, let's position them absolutely so they'll be you know, somewhere always fixed. Um, and then, so we'll have to give them a modifier because we're gonna reuse them again and again. So let's call this link number one and let's set position absolute and then maybe this corner and then we can start putting it somewhere like here about me. Um, let's, let me turn this from percentage to actually pixels. So this is really fixed and on different websites, on different screen sizes as well. Let's do 150 pixels. So let's say this is a link here. And um, so now basically what we want to do, we can duplicate them, but basically what we want to do is on hover effect, you show some image and this, the links are higher than the image, but the image is higher than the text in kind of in the layers stack. So in order to do that, we need to give them kind of layer stack. So first of all, let's bring in an image. Let's upload some kind of an image, image upload. Let's bring in a random image um, and upload it. Okay, so this image, we also want to position it in an absolute kind of way. So let's call this image one, image one. Let's make it smaller. And let's turn its position to absolute as well. Now we're using absolute so that, you know, we'll have access to the Z index and we can place them over each other. Um, yeah, so here it is. It's actually by default, it's above the text below and this is on top of it. So now all we have to do is actually just, you know, hide this element, hide image number one. And on this link, give it an interaction. So let's give element trigger, mouse hover, and then we're going to start an animation. And basically what this animation does, let's do 
about Hover. And um, all we want to do is we want to select this image and do on Hover, we're just going to change its hide and show. So we're going to change it from display none into display block. That's it. Basically, we're done. <laughs> Let me preview this. Bam, it works. But what we didn't do is we didn't remove it. So we didn't do the hover out interaction. So let's, we have on hover and we also need to add the hover out. So let's do start animation and do, it's, it needs to be a different one. So about out. And in about out, what's going to happen? This image, we're going to go to hide and show and we're going to bring it back to display none again. So basically what we have now, hover, you see it, hover out, it's disappearing. And basically <laughs> that's it. You know, it's very, very simple. So basically we have that interaction working right now and you can see it's pretty easy to add the rest of the links and you can even add videos or whatever you wanna add. And uh, yeah, that's was done in just a few minutes. So as you can see, it's very, very powerful and you have to understand how to work with the interactions and the positioning, absolute positioning, but overall, rather easy interaction to set up. I hope this kind of motivated you to try to break the old normal navigation and try to do something a little bit more funky and a little bit more cool in your own web design projects. I will see you in the next video. Bye.